Hello friends, now we have a detailed knowledge about the Japanese candlesticks like its color, different parts and the strength of its signal. But if you are not aware of these things, then I request you to watch the previous two videos of this series. Because these informations are necessary for our further learning. So without wasting any more time, let us start it with the three key rules for using the candlesticks. But remember, these rules are only applicable for the candlesticks. So now give your total attention here. Rule number one, buy strength, sell weakness. So what does it mean by strength and weakness? Here strength is refers to the green candles and weakness refers to the red candles. So it means that buy when it is a green candle day and sell when it is a red candle day. Rule number two, be flexible with the patterns. It means there is a little difference between the candlestick patterns we learn theoretically and the patterns we see in the practical chart. I will give you an example. Look at this candle. This is known as Doji candle in the book. Don't worry about its name and meaning. I will explain all of them later. And if you look at the same candle on a practical chart, then it looks like this. Now I hope you understand what does it mean by this rule. Now our next rule. Rule number three. Look for a prior trend. Prior trend means the previous trend. So if you are looking for a bullish or green candle to buy, then make sure it has a bearish trend in previous. And if you are looking for a bearish or red candle to sell, then make sure it has a bullish trend in previous. If you are not much familiar with these rules till now, don't worry. I will repeat these rules again and again during the explanations of different candlestick patterns. Now you are all set to learn the candlestick patterns. So what were you waiting for? Let's jump into it. Pattern helps us to set up a trade by giving a signal. However, sometimes these signals can be identified with just a one candle or sometimes it takes more than one. Now I summarize all the candle patterns that we are going to learn in this journey. First we learn the single candlestick patterns. The name of the patterns are Marubuzo, Doji, Spinning Tops, Paper Umbrella, Hammer, Hanging Man, Shooting Star and much more. And then we are looking into the multiple candlestick patterns which is consist of two or more candles. And the name of the patterns are Bullish Engulfing, Bearish Engulfing, Bullish Harami, Bearish Harami, Piercing Pattern, Dark Cloud Cover, Morning Star, Evening Star and much more. We start learning all the patterns in details like how it looks, what does it mean and the most important thing what you need to do if you find it on a practical chart. So don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and press that bell icon to get notified. If this video had any value to your life, hit that big fat like button and share this video to your family, friends and colleagues. Thank you so much for watching this video guys.